Just down, downstream a little bit, we found this big elephant bull now. When I first had eyes on the delta, it was just, you know, luck, love at first sight. It was just this crazy, crazy obsession with water that all fly fishermen know about, where you just want to know what's in there and you want to catch it. Cry havoc and let's slip the dogs of war. Big fish. Gnarly fish, aggressive fish, fast fish, bad fish, fierce fish, fish with fangs. <laughs> the great thing, you know, about fly fishing is the, is the places it will take you. Africa is just, there's nothing like it. it it's raw, it's wild. It's home. There's this big green moving mass of everything. Everything's alive. It takes your breath away, it really does. The target species that we look for here, obviously on the catfish runs, are mainly tiger fish. I suppose the teeth is really one of the big things about it. Tigerfish is the most ferocious first five seconds out of all the species that I've caught. They are very, very aggressive fish. Um, they will literally go into friends and attack anything that comes near them. Uh, we're basically looking for the squawker herons and they like the CIA, so they normally find the, the catfish first. You find the birds, you find the catfish, you find the tigers, and then you find a whole lot of fun. All the birds are in on it. Everybody comes in for the smorgasbord board of, of baitfish there. So. This catfish run is, you know, it's a really special thing. You've got a flood plain that floods, let's say a metre of water at the height of the season. And in that metre of water, you are going to have every single fish in the river coming out of the main channel like as it can and accessing the flood plains. You know, all the bait fish, they use this time to spawn because the water temperature is optimal for them. And then all of a sudden, that water starts to recede. And they get washed into the main channel. When they hit that main channel, it's like a really bad surprise. Catfish form packs, big, big packs. And there are thousands upon thousands of catfish, sharp toothed catfish. They literally churn up the water and, and displace them. And they flare their perculums and suck in vast amounts of water and bait fish at the same time. So it's a very noisy affair. Some of the what we call runs are like up to a kilometer long. So I'm putting a steel trace onto uh, Mano Leader here, yeah? back to back figure of eights. And if you listen carefully, you can hear in the background the eagle going off quite seriously. It's an incredible thing that happens, you know, without fail every year. It's chaos. I mean, that's when the tiger fish come in and snack on all the bait fish. You've got to get your fly through this blanket of whiskers to, to try to get down to the tigers. This way, you know, you don't have to beg a tiger fish to come eat your fly. I mean, if you strip it hard, it's going to come. And if you put your fly in the right spot, it's going to chow your fly. Well, well, it being the catfish run, sometimes obviously we catch catfish and they give a good pull. They're, you know, they're not the most attractive fish and they're all slimy and, and they don't die and they've got this sort of, this horrible sort of demeanor about them, but they're one hell of a predator. Um, so quite often you'll have a tiger that, that hits you and hits you damn hard and you're convinced he's on. He'll jump and throw you. You know, they've got very bony mouths, so you gotta, you gotta stick it to get that hook set properly. Gee. Oh! Bad luck, but you broke you. Then you see these guys sitting in the boat with their head in their hands after they've dropped like five or six fish in a row. I've just been broken off by uh, tiger fish. Relax, chill. Don't worry, this is tiger fishing. You know? Welcome to the real world. This is where fish hit you hard, they disrespect you, and they get the hell out of town if you don't do the right things.
you know, the only reason they jump is because they don't have middle fingers. I mean, after every hit, you, you have to check your flight to make sure that um, it's sharp enough. You've got your patience as a guy, there's no doubt about it. Okay, we're not failure on the last flight, and I think I tied it. This patch was made by a guy called Juan. I think he might have been Mexican. <laughs> And in setting hook, you really got to apply yourself. Fish! Oh, what the f wasn't that? What is this? <laughs> This is how we end the day. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Yeah. That's how it is. Smiling guy. The tiger fish is just a killing machine. Very, very sharp bicuspid teeth, which have got fine cutting edges on both sides of the teeth. Beautiful silver body with, with black stippling, and then beautiful red on the fins, on the tail fins. Perfect combination between beauty and sheer bloody terror. Yeah, oh, absolutely epic. Eh? This is what people come here for. As far as uh, African freshwater fishing is concerned, it is the best. Yeah, the tiger is called the striped water dog because uh, Hydrocyanus vitatus. Hydrocyanus is water dog. Canis obviously means dog, and Hydra meaning water. I, I guide because of the people to a large degree, and I get great pleasure watching people uh, catch fish. It's a double on the rocks. <laughs> it's hot out there. I mean, in October it gets up to 45 out. You know, it's that seriously warm. You know, the guests have been casting the fly all morning and throwing a nine weight with this heavy sinking line. So we'll have lunch on the island, have a bit of a siesta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, relief after seriously hard days gliding. <laughs>